mix here. Today I'll be taking a look at our very first fire related custom, also the largest custom that we've ever built. And uh, sorry for the sound in the background, my dad is doing work on the house and I also have my friend Joseph with me. He's uh, he's making noise and all kinds of stuff back there. And yeah, so as I said, today I'll be taking a look at our largest build of today. Uh, so this is uh, very much inspired by the original LEGO City set, which looks very much like this, uh, sharing the color scheme and also some of the cabinet detailing, which originally this was uh, basically just a teardown and modification of LEGO set 60107, which uh, was very much shorter. So this is the stock standard 5 truck, which we tore a whole bunch of stuff off. And uh, this is the original, which... Um, this is also getting modified and will be its own video. It's going to be sort of a storage truck, but that's what we're working on later today. But right now, I am going to be looking at this guy. This is our largest piece of fire equipment and our largest custom ever. So let's go ahead and start with the smaller piece of it. And uh, take a look at the little cab, which, um, other than the uh, sort of teardown back here, it's exactly the same as what we have here. Same wheelbase, same everything, we just uh, tore up the end of it back here. So now we have our siphon sticking here, which is something that I was building while my dad was uh, working on the trailer. And then back here we have a whole bunch of equipment. Uh, so you could basically uh, put the fire out in the house and rebuild the house completely with all the tools that we have back here. And what, and while we're looking at these little lights sitting back here, all of the lights on the trailer and on the cab are corresponding with each other. So blue is on one side, red is on the other. And here is where you would put the um, hitch for the little trailer. And then back here we have our license plate and our tail lights. And then up top we have our light bar. It's completely smooth and since the ladder doesn't uh, sit on the light bar like it did last time, it is actually uh, sitting on its own little stand. And then up here we have a little split set on top of our custom little bumper, which was originally just a modification to this guy. And then our light bar, we didn't put it on this one because we didn't think it think it looked good. And then other than that, in here, um, here is the cab. It's not that much different, although we did uh, kind of mess up back here. So usually you could see two people, but in this one you can only see one. Some of the building is kind of a little bit weird on this because we set up to it. Uh, three o'clock in the morning to get this finished so we were very tired by the time we were done building and then back here we also have a pair of cabinets on one side we have a little uh, medical kit which was just a little um, gray suitcase with some little crosses on either side and then that is sitting in there and then actually the other side is just empty nothing in there but other than that, that is basically the whole entire cab. Nothing too, too special about this. As I said, we just kind of tore up the end and then added uh, some minor detailing to the cabin and changed it up very, very little. So now let's go ahead and roll in the sort of focus of this video. This is the ginormous trailer that we built. So this is taking much inspiration from the official Lego set and also... Uh, um, Jing Bick's vision, which, uh, the inspiration is kind of seen back here with this little fire egg. I call it the fire egg because it looks like an egg. But, uh, this is, uh, uh the person that would uh, articulate these, uh, wheels in case they were in a very compact city and they needed to turn it sharper than usual. So, uh, these wheels could turn if they needed to. And then, uh, we also have our legs on here and our ladder has double hydraulics. And as I said, here's our stand sitting here. So also our lights are still corresponding. So as you can see back here, all blue and red are on uh, the certain sides. And it's also corresponding with up here. So for you guys right now, how you're looking here is the blue is all on the left side and red is on the right side. And then every uh, now and then we have a couple orange lights sitting here like on the little stands which I'll take a look at later and then also underneath our red and blue lights up here we have a couple little blinkers. Gotta have a lot of identifier lights on here because it's very large so say a car's parked here and you're not going to be able to see these lights way up here. Or if you're parked up here you won't be able to see the blinkers way back here. But other than that, that is a quick look at the external of the Tra um, trailer. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at under here. So here we have two little lights off to an angle. And then in here is a little secret compartment 
with uh, some saws and things in there. You can't really see them though, it's kind of dark. And then you can close that. There's also a buoy there, which I just kind of put there for detailing. And then that uh, has the lettuce sitting on top of it. And then inside the fire egg is uh, just a little fire person right there. And then we also got to use this little piece. It's a little roof that had the fire sticker on it. So we finally got to use that on something. And uh, come to think of it, I actually had to modify the fire egg just a tad before this video because I had to put the figure in there. So I had to expand this just a little bit with a quarter of a brick there to make the figures fit because the hat was too tall. And then as for the ladder, as I said, double hydraulics, which looks really cool in my opinion. And then to get it to sit flat, you have to actually push it down all the way um, off to the side of the stand and then push it to the stand because if you just put it here, it doesn't sit flat, so you have to push it down like that, and then it'll, it'll sit flat. But other than that, that is uh, the whole entire trailer. Now I'll take a look at the legs. So uh, without breaking the bumper, we'll take a closer look at the legs, which can just fold right here. And these legs are basically the exact same build as what is seen on the city set. So you can fold all these down. And then you have your legs here to give your trailer ex extra stability for when your lead is off to the side and push and pushing on one side of the trailer. So there you go, you won't tip over with these little stands sitting here. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the little accessories off to the side. So as if our little secret compartment down here wasn't enough storage, uh, we also have our little fire hose down here, which uh, shoots studs, and then a krill bar is sitting over there in case you need to pry a door off of a house that's like burning or something. Fire extinguisher over here. Over here we have the water for the stud shooter on the other side. Some drawers, which we've been needing to use these little drawers for a while, so we finally put them to use. They're empty though, just sort of acting as a decoration. And then just push in like that. And then, once you fold the legs back in, you are pretty much good to go back onto the street and go take care of another fire after you've uh, put out the other one. So other than that, that is the trailer stands and all the little compartments that it has. So now let's go ahead and scoot the camera back a little bit to show you how uh, far this uh, little ladder can extend. So here you can see at maximum height, the ladder extends about three inches above this little wooden shelf that you can see running across here. And at maximum height, it can reach um, all of the buildings of the highest point very easily, like the Hogwarts uh, school, which is just called Hogwarts in the Harry Potter movies, but it can easily reach the top of the little spike on the Hogwarts castle easily. And that is that's the tallest thing in the city, so uh, if you extend this to maximum height anywhere in the city, it's pretty much not needed, as you pretty much can just raise it up and not even extend it, and you'd pretty much be good to go. But as you can see here, the ladder is very tall and reaches everything easily, so I don't think any fires will be getting above us very easily. So with all the little uh, knickknacks and all the little details being uh, talked about, including all the little things on the cab, and the trailer with its own little hidden spots, double hydraulic ladder system, little stands, and all of its cool features. Make sure that you stay tuned for our next fire related video. So we will be customizing the other original one that we have. Trying to get rid of everything in the city that is actual set related. Um, so this one will just be a storage truck. So all this will be taken away and it's just going to be full of cabinets. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the overview of this absolutely ginormous uh, fire engine. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure that you subscribe, like the video, and follow us on Instagram. Bye for now, and thank you very, very much for watching.